Aries, welcome back guys. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for November. Let's see what messages we have for the Aries for the month of November. All right, so y'all energy already going a little crazy. Let's see. Let me shuffle. Let's get a good shuffle in. Okay. Aries, Aries. Give me a message for Aries, please, for November. Some of y'all are going through some type of ending and walking away from something. Walking away from a situation. I saw the world and the Eight of Cups. So definitely someone here could be ending something. Right, so we got the death card. So yeah, there are endings and new beginnings. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but there could be an ending to a, a situation, a living situation. Um, there could be uh, talks of possibly a divorce or a separation. I'm getting like the process is moving slowly, but something is coming to an end. I feel like somebody could have been trying to hold on to a connection, hold on to a situation, a person, um, a business arrangement, something. But it looks like something could be coming to an end. Somebody's playing mind games here for sure, for sure. You got a trickster with the magician and the seven of swords. Yeah, you got a trickster here. Y'all dealing with a trickster. All right, so let's see. The Empress. Three of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Star. Knight of Cups. Will of Fortune. The Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. Queen of Wands and the Lovers. Some of y'all dealing with the Gemini. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. A Libra or a Taurus. Someone could be... I see possibly a pregnancy here. I'm seeing you waiting a long time and feeling burnt out by, by the situation because your energy is the Ten of Wands. So you're at the end of the road. This is the this is the end. You burnt you're burnt out. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Here's your your energy. You're very you want justice. Some of y'all are dealing with the Libra. Um, the situation here is toxic. With the devil card here, someone has a negative way of thinking. Someone thinks too negatively. Um, you've been watching this person. You don't like what you see, what you've been seeing. So now you are the Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords energy is very straightforward. She is a no nonsense. Um, energy. Yep. Some of y'all are on a break. You're you're wanting a break. You're already taking a break, so you can focus on yourself. Okay. So you're putting your energy into yourself. Um, you're going to be pampering yourself. You have other options. If you don't have any, many are coming in. Seven of Cups and the Emperor. Trust me. <laughs> many are coming in. Okay, so it's nothing for you to worry about when it comes to whether or not if you're going to have other options, you very much so will be. Now, the Empress and the Star card here could be growth as well and healing. Okay, so maybe you've been on a break period because you're healing after a situation that you had to walk away from. You stayed. I see you, you were very patient here with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you invested a lot into this. Yep, you had goals, you had plans, you've invested a lot into, into this situation. 
For some of you, this is a business partner. What's the Empress here? We got the Ace of Cups. Ooh, you're feeling yourself now. You're starting to feel yourself. Okay, you're starting to feel yourself. starting to feel like you again. The Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You would, would love for things to go back, this connection to go back to how it was. But at this time, I feel like you're putting your focus into yourself. I'm getting a lot of self-love. Like, a lot of self-love. Okay. Why is the star card here? I'm getting healing. I feel like you're healing. You're on a break period because you're healing. Why is the star card here? Ace of Wands, yeah. Okay, so you want a new start, a new beginning. You're healing. I see it. Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups and the Emperor. I feel like for some of you, this is definitely like a business or family um, situation. Could be, like I said, a marriage. Some of you are separating from an individual. You found out that this person was being sneaky, manipulative, had little tricks up their sleeve. Why is it? Temperance, yeah. You're definitely healing. You're bouncing back, okay, from a disappointment. You found out that somebody was definitely a player. You found out that somebody was a player. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The High Priestess. Past energy here is interesting. We got the Knight of Cups, okay? So you could have been dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or there was some type of offer or communication. Someone could have been trying to communicate with you, offering you gifts or offering you some type of um, some type of appeasement. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? It could be a Virgo plus Capricorn. I feel like you know what you deserve. We got the chariot in reverse. None of these cards are in reverse. The chariot came out in reverse. You're not returning to this situation. Things just weren't moving forward and you felt stuck. You felt stuck. You could have been dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this person, this person just with the three of swords, they just could have either had a third party going on, um, involved you in something that involved another person or just left you heartbroken. Now, you felt stuck, and I, I clearly see for a lot of you it's a cancer, but you're not, this, you know, you didn't plan on moving forward. There was no forward movement, all right? So, the future energy is the will of fortune. So, there's changes. There's changes that are on the horizon. You may have been seeing the number 555. I've been seeing it like crazy. Okay, so there's changes that are on the way. Why is the will of fortune here? Six of Pentacles, yes. The universe is gifting you, all right, for making these, moving the way you've been moving, okay? I see a lot of self-love. I see you healing. You want a new beginning, a new fresh beginning. The universe is gifting you <laughs> for a job well done. You're being gifted by the universe, all right? The universe is gifting you, honey. Yes. Page of Wands, Page of Cups, the Hierophant. Listen, you could be dealing. The Taurus could um, could come in um, and have some type of communication with you. But I'm getting that there is possibly, like, I'm getting a lot of communication coming in. The Hierophant is someone who's very structured, okay, that is loyal, um, that's could be traditional. Like I said, a new beginning. I, I feel you're taking some type of leap of faith, some type of risk, but you're doing it for you this time. Okay. You, this go around is for you. Now, the person that you're dealing with, they're in their seven of wands energy. They're in defense mode. Five of wands in reverse. Okay. So there's definitely an issue here that needs to be resolved. We got justice here. This could even go as far as to taking it to a to a lawyer or a judge may need to go um, deal with the court system. But I'm definitely seeing them feeling like they have to protect themselves. I'm, I'm even hearing like a lawyer possibly trying to get some type of lawyer. This could be something really, really serious. Why is the five of wands in reverse? The emperor and the moon jumped out. This is Aries' energy and Pisces' cancer energy. But they feel 
possibly like they are not in control or they have control issues. Someone here likes to control people the way people think, the way they control people's minds. So this person is extremely manipulative, okay? Don't want you to go anywhere. And they're having regrets. <laughs> they're having regrets. They're hiding. You could have blocked this person. They feel defeated. They just wanted to win the argument. And now that I see them being extremely disappointed. Extremely disappointed. Now you are in your Queen of Wands energy. This is in your hopes and fears. So you, you're looking to boss up. You're looking to uh, get your energy back. Focus on yourself. Some of you could be focused on business, work. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo. Heavy. But I'm seeing you getting your courage, building your courage back up, your mojo, getting your mojo back. I'm definitely seeing that. Yeah, I see someone wanting to communicate with you, but it could be a Capricorn, but or this person just have Capricorn in their energy. This person is toxic. Okay? This person is toxic. Now the outcome is the lovers. Could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Or there is a decision in love that you need to make. Why is the lovers here? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords and a Three of Swords. Yeah. King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Someone walks away pissed, upset because someone has a third party. Someone has a third party. Tell me more. King of Pentacles. Someone is doing this for the money. Um, gifts. This relationship is very much so uh, ego driven uh, financially for stability, finances. And somebody is being watched. This person could be watching you or you're watching this person. Be a fool. Because all of this is going to fall apart with the tower here. Their efforts and things that they've been working on is going to fall apart. Tower and the Three of Pentacles. Something that was built is falling apart. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be deciding to keep it moving. Look at this six of swords and the world. You're closing out this chapter, this chapter, because something here was a was a failure. And it could have possibly been a living arrangement, a business deal, a marriage. But something here is definitely on the rocks, like it's is possibly in danger. Um, so I feel like you are walking away, even though you walk away. A little angry at the situation. I'm not going to lie. Not a little angry. And not a sore. He, he real angry. All right. Some of y'all are making a final decision to manifest elsewhere. Okay. You not you don't want to be stressing out about this situation. This is what your goal is. The sun and the ten of pentacles. You want something happy. You want something long term. You want something stable. Okay. And if this person can't do it. This person is being sneaky. Um very much so manipulative then it's time to chop it up okay yeah that two of cups came right back out with that king of pentacles this relationship or, or situation ship could be because someone is providing finance financial security okay so it is what it is all right so this is the message that i got for aries if this message resonates with you guys be sure to comment below let me know what's going on if you're interested in booking a personal um i'll leave my email address in the description box below where you can reach out to me via email we get you set up to get you a personal read all right so until next time guys ciao for now